two talented young men with a lot to prove and a lot to gain over the next hour or so. Of course, Nathan Aspinall catapulting himself into the limelight with his magnificent run to the World Championship semi-final and uh, has performed superbly, heroically, uh, to come back in two of his matches so far at this UK Open against Christian Kiss and, and Steve Lennon. Uh, but Ross Smith started all the way back on Friday afternoon, didn't he? He has already won five matches uh, to get to this stage. Impressive in beating Norris West and especially uh, James Wade. And thoroughly deserving to be in a PDC major quarter-final. Aspinall, you would think, is the favourite. The draw for the semi-finals will follow this live on the stage here in Minehead. Ball one will be Rob Cross. Ball two will be Michael Smith. Ball three will be Gerwin Price. Who will be ball four, Chris Mason? Well, Nathan Aspinall just shades it for me, but I was really impressed with the way Nathan Ross Smith focus. beat James Wade Game yesterday. On. Averaged nearly 97. He's got a tournament average slightly higher than Nathan Aspinall. I just love the fighting qualities 45. of Nathan Aspinall. Notoriously can't well, keep still. noted for yeah. being a slow starter. Yeah, but he can't keep still. He ha he's forever moving and 93. plays on adrenaline. and that's what, that's what keeps him going. But he's never still. He's all arms and legs and... You know, bouncing got a bit of, and got a bit of jockey yeah. about him. Yeah, absolutely. But he, he, uh, had that, he, well, he was superb, wasn't he? I mean, on merit, he lost to Michael Smith in arguably the match of the World Championship at the Alexander it Palace in, a, in an Thriller. epic semi-final. It really was. But you know, it's great, isn't it, that today here we are in the quarter-finals and three PDC World Youth Nine Champions uh, f uh, or f uh, players who played in the final are in the quarter-finals. Michael Smith, Nathan Aspinall, Josh Payne, all previously been in World Youth uh, Finals, and here they are in the quarter-finals of a big TV major. So, yeah, all good. Yeah, Ross Smith, I'm just very impressed with the way that he went around about his business. 177. He's bouncing around, isn't he? Nathan Aspinall and... Yeah, he even just stood there behind Ross Smith. His arms are moving and his legs are tapping. 18. And Nathan, you know, he just has to keep himself yes. going. But players thrive on, on adrenaline and that Aspinall does. Double 16. Game well done. It's a brilliant Nathan opening Aspinall. leg from Nathan Aspinall. He means Game business, off. I think. Yeah, but Smith was... was Cool. No, he was calm, personified, wasn't he, against against James Wade? He's been around a while as, as well. So he's only 30 now, but I can remember back in 2011, he had a quarter-final run to, uh, in uh, Lakeside, and he threatened to, to really burst onto the scene. He stated in an interview with, with Ned Bolting that he fell out of love with the game, but thankfully the passion for the sport again because he's super talented. Mm, caught the flight, didn't it? Took the impetus off the dart. 58. Yeah, as you meant, he just, he just walked away. Just, just didn't enjoy it. Just wasn't bothered about it anymore. So that was it. He, he performed really well on the Challenge Tour. I think he won four or five events yep. on the Challenge Tour. And it, it looked like he was going to... He was... He was next in line, but he was certainly on the uh, in the queue to, to to take the step up to the official PDC tour. But just, just had enough. That, that they were his Nathan words. Just didn't enjoy it anymore, so that was it. I just stopped playing. And when you fall out of love with the game, lovely ball for top. There's a whistle Nathan there. Like Nathan to Two game very on. very impressive opening legs. Yep. 15 data, 15 data. But you know, easy wins One against Alcidas and Madras Rasma, but he came back against Christian Kist, won a deciding leg with a 12 data on against the, against the darts to win 
Shoes and he was he was seven three down Aspinall against Steve Lanham. Well, I was up up there in in stage two watching that one, and what? and I, I walked out at seven three, and I thought, well, that's that then. And then I got pulled back up there to to interview with the winner, and I was expecting it to be Steve Lennon, and. Aspinall was waiting there with a great big smile on his face. And rightly so. Well, Lennon also missed a dart at double 15, I think it was, to go 8 3 up. He bust 120. Yeah, he bust 120 later on. It was a big, big finish as well, a big tub plus finish from Aspinall, which just turned it round. Uh, and I think he went off at the break on, on stage two, and he just said, he said that the adrenaline kicked in. And, you know, even at 7-3 down, I, I walk back on that stage thinking, I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this, man. Look at this, double 14. Well, this is astonishing. Astonishing. 118.6-6 after three legs of darts. Will Smith's season really hasn't suggested, well, the start to the season, hasn't really suggested this run. 54. Players' Championship 1 and 2, out first round. Put those numbers. Uh, then he then he won one game in Players Championship three and one in Players Championship four. Then he won one of the well got through one of the qualifiers for the European Darts Open later in this later this month. A Players Champs five great run to the last sixteen, and then a, a run to the last thirty two. So just sort of turned the corner, but not really gone gone deep. So inviting. But it changed his life. I mean, Nathan Aspinall's words, he said, not just financially, but as far as, you know, the personal life and, the, and his darting career is concerned, well, his run fine. at the Alexandra Palace has changed his life in every way, shape and form. And whatever happens today, the rest of today, he's now in the world top 32 for the very first time. 55. Uh, we'll see him. It's in Nottingham, won't we, in a, in a couple Premier of weeks' League. time as a Premier League contender. He really is living the dream. And, you know, well, as, he, a, as a player, Stu, that you all have confidence. You all sort 59. of play some, some good stuff, maybe on the, in the floor events or in, in local tournaments or even league and Super League, etc. But the actual having the genuine confidence when you've done it, you've been there, you've been on stage, you, you've battled back, you've produced big averages and big finishes at key moments. You take that with you. But it's been a slow burner as well. Yes. You know, he, he, he had been around for a while. He, he, he's played in a World Youth final. 121. He's 27 he years of age, you know, so he, he, he's, been, he's been trying to crack the big time for a fair while, but he's had that eureka moment, hasn't he? Look at this. 170. 170. 145. Well, what I will say, year on year, they've been small improvements which have culminated in what we've seen from him in the last few well, we months. may see Smith here I was going to say go for the ball but instead he'll go for double six Games and well, he sneaks it in the corner he sneaks it in the corner that was in Did off the post wasn't it <laughs> it may have been in, a, in off both posts and across the goal line and trickling in but they all count well done good finish Ross Smith 58 Yeah, we say again, millimetres, don't we? 134. Aspinall was just absolutely racing away with it. The whisker away from a 170 for 4-0. Smith somehow finds out from nowhere, you have to say, a superb 1-2-6 finish, and he's back in it. He's only start. a break of throw down. Aspinall's start to the season has been a little bit more impressive. Uh, he qualified for the German 96. Darts Championship at the end of, end of March. But a couple of quarter-finals and a semi-final at Players' Championship 6. Has indicated that he's continued that fabulous form you speak of, Stu, from the World Championships run to the semi. 60. It's too hot in the commentary box for you to wear your anorak. <laughs> <laughs> 95. Okay, I remember that one. We love you. We know that. Yeah, but you're absolutely right. You know, but it, it's just like that 
the alley poly, and, and he wasn't far Nathan away. Michael Smith was magnificent and had to beat to beat him in the semi-final, but everything just clicked. That eureka moment, I could play this at the very highest level, and he is. Seen it similar with Rob Cross's run in this very event, and that kick-started his career. It gave him the belief he can compete at the highest level. Sixty. Nathan, you require four. So for four-one, total control of the Nathan last quarter final.